Hey there guys, this is gonna be part three of the shipping container shop project. And today I'm gonna to show you how I cut the windows and the doors, framed them in, and started on the trusses of the container shop. Um, I still have quite a bit to do. I was hoping to have it painted by now. Um, but anyway, let me show you how I did that. And then after that, I will talk about the things that are gonna be in the next part. My main goal in this section of the project was to get a couple of windows and an entry door cut out and framed. And to do this, I started out with some tube steel frames that I welded from the same material that I made my end doors. Uh, once I got everything all marked out, I put some tape on the markings uh, just to make it easier for me to see. Um, and then you're going to see me doing pretty much all of the cuts with an angle grinder with a metal cutoff wheel. Using the angle grinder to do all the cuts was extremely effective and pretty easy. Uh, but I will point out one caution that if you do remove a guard from a grinder, you may get bit. Uh, you'll see uh, the grinder went through my glove and basically cut my finger and essentially cauterized it. Uh, there was no bleeding. Uh, so anyway, just uh, one little tip in case you happen to be doing some cuts with an angle grinder. Once I got all my openings cut and all of the paint stripped off, I proceeded to do some stitch welds around all of the frames and you'll see what that looks like here in just a second. Once I was finished welding all the frames in, I then gave everything a coat of primer just to make sure any surface rust didn't develop until I could get a coat of paint on the whole container. And if you remember from the last video, here are the foundation blocks that I poured. Uh, they are all set and leveled and pretty much ready for the container to be placed on them. After moving the container to the foundation blocks, I then welded on some angle iron brackets that I made to be able to hold the trusses onto the roof and then gave everything a coat of Rust-Oleum paint uh, just as a little added extra protection. And for my trusses, I made them about as easy as I possibly could have. Using stock dimensional length lumber, you'll see the bottom piece is an 8 footer with an angle cut in it. The top angled piece is a 10 footer and then I used just over a 2 footer on the left side. And that's the basic truss. I then added some angled supports in between just to give it a little bit of extra strength and they were pretty much ready to go.
Okay, so that's pretty much it. Next time I am going to be finishing up the trusses, uh, adding the purlins and all the fascia board around, uh, and then building the awning that's coming out. Uh, I'll be pouring the little uh, foundation blocks uh, for those and definitely uh, sealing all the joints in this container and then painting it. And then I might get into uh, doing some framing on the inside so that I can put some insulation boards uh, in there for a little bit of insulation. And then, I don't know, <laughs> maybe electrical or, or some other things like that. But anyway, that's uh, where it is right now. Um, I think it's making progress. Uh, like Okay, so I just lost my battery there. I'm not sure where I was at. I think I said I'm gonna be painting it next time. Um, I'm also gonna be adding some, uh, in addition to the fascia board, some blocking, uh, some wood that's gonna be underneath those trusses or that little uh, shed roof pitch. Um, I'll be adding the roofing. I will add the windows after the paint's all dry and the door latches, things like that. And I think I mentioned that I was gonna be framing the inside and maybe uh, starting on some interior things. But anyway, that's pretty much it for now. As always, I thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate all the uh, thumbs ups and uh, the people who, who subscribe. Um, and uh, as always, I will see you next time.